Our next guest is someone who is present in every major chess event. You'll see him often, but very rarely at a chess board. But in this event, he's also taking part in a chess team. That's Arkady Dvorak, who is president of FIDE. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let's begin from the most recent moment. Just a couple of minutes ago, you lost your game here. Uh, I must admit, I, I see that you were really un unnerved and uh, unhappy when you saw how you misplayed. What happened? <laughs> Well, I started the game, um, I think, pretty well and uh, got a very comfortable position. Uh, uh, my pieces were the right places, basically. Uh, just uh, maybe a couple of moves and uh, I would uh, develop com completely uh, and um, have a good advantage. Uh, uh, and then uh, I just misplayed uh, one move. Uh, and uh, uh, the problem was that uh, uh, I calculated uh, uh, before and uh, before this single move, I was not already thinking. I just made it automatically and at the point I touched the pawn I understood that uh, I, I, I misplayed but I already touched it so there was no way to uh, to come back even after that um, uh, were chances to uh, equalize but uh, I was so much disappointed about this moment that I couldn't put myself uh, back uh, in order um, uh, which uh, well uh, which comes with experience probably uh, and I, I didn't have that and um, uh, I started making uh, just stupid moves. So. so you're someone who has a lot of experience in life in politics and business in other fields could that none of that have helped you get your balance back and to focus or is just chess above all of that and once you display there then there's nothing. Probably it could but again um, uh, with practice uh, I could easily go through this moment uh, but at that point I thought oh, well I play for the team and uh, uh, I made it worse for the whole team so um, I was really disappointed I just couldn't yeah couldn't come back. Uh, and will you be playing more often now is this an announcement that you will be playing more often? I'm not sure my mission is a different one um, uh, but uh, when I have a chance to play friendly games, I do it. Uh, here in this format, uh, it's, just, it's just a lucky moment uh, to have this opportunity since there is a mature board uh, uh, in the team um, uh, and it's rapid format. It doesn't take a lot of time, so that's why I'm here. I cannot play World Amateur Championship, for instance, since it's a long uh, time control. Uh, so I think I will keep uh, working uh, uh, on, on what I have to do. Who taught you chess? How did you learn chess? Because obviously you're not a rated player, not known in the field. So. How did you learn chess? My father was an international chess arbiter and very good player. Uh, not a grandmaster, but a um, uh, very good player. He taught me chess and then I uh, went to, um, uh, to study chess in a club uh, in Moscow. Uh, and for a few years I was studying, uh, playing uh, the tournaments, correspondence games, uh, also at that time without computers, uh, of course. Um, I played my last tournament at the university uh, in uh, 1994. Uh, after that, I was not playing any tournaments. Uh, I played just occasional friendly chess, uh, um, mostly blitz. Um, uh, so that's a completely new competitive experience for me. And did you ever think that in those days when you were studying that you would one day become maybe world champion or a professional player? Did you ever think that, that dedicating yourself professionally as a player to chess? I would say I didn't study um, um, enough uh, to become a professional player. I had uh, different interests, but I enjoyed uh, Mm, studying and playing chess, so it was just not a uh, uh, goal of um, of my life. I didn't have any career uh, uh, interest in this field, so uh, I just uh, uh, played, uh, and that's it. Uh, but again, uh, that helped me. It helped me a lot. Uh, my mind is structured better because of chess, so uh, I'm enjoying it. Going back to your job and role as FIDE president, obviously this is the inaugural event, the FIDE Team World Rapid Championship. How difficult was it to put this event together and what's the plan for the future? Well, thanks to our partners, uh, WR, uh, we uh, uh, were in a very comfortable position uh, of uh, uh, helping to structure regulations uh, and making sure that sport component uh, um, goes well. Also, we sent uh, uh, to Düsseldorf uh, our team of uh, organizers to make sure that all the details are taken care of. Uh, so um, it's a very good um, uh, experience uh, for us. Uh, and uh, I'm happy that uh, we did it in a way that um, people like, uh, that uh, both, uh, both players and spectators uh, have fun uh, from that uh, very friendly atmosphere. So. Yeah, you could judge it from everyone going out, from, from what I could see, everyone smiling, laughing, Flair, players are happy to talk to spectators. There's a good mixture of everything. 
Yeah, there is not so much uh, pressure as uh, uh, in um, uh, some other official events since it's not the World Championship cycle, it's uh, something different. Uh, team events uh, um, is more about uh, making fun, but also here we have the World Championship uh, title for the team. So the stronger teams uh, compete very seriously. Uh, but still, uh, most of the players are friends uh, or at least uh, have good relationships uh, and that's why uh, it's going uh, very uh, in a very friendly atmosphere, but uh, tomorrow I think uh, in the last couple of rounds it's going to be a real fight. <laughs> and uh, thinking about the format itself, so you introduced a woman player and an amateur player at a board. Um, people, everyone from what, who I've talk, spoken to has praised this as a good thing for chess to get more people involved and it makes it more interesting. Is FIDE going to consider this on the more, for more serious events, so to speak, for more uh, competitive types uh, of events of introducing uh, an amateur factor into the, into the game? Well, I think it's a good track for clubs uh, in particular, since um, we have um, maybe hundreds of clubs around the world, maybe even thousands of clubs around the world, uh, uh, and uh, whether it's like established club uh, or um, the teams that pu uh, uh, players put together themselves, um, uh, still uh, uh, this is a com community uh, chess uh, and uh, uh, people are of different level but they're still a team or a club. Uh, so uh, mixing them in one team, I think, is a good uh, thing. Since uh, uh, if you are in the club, um, yes, you have some heroes, you have role models, but you have just normal club players who should have a chance. Uh, uh, that's why I think it's a good, good idea to continue with it. And finally, which is more difficult, to run FIDE or to play in a tournament? <laughs> well, I have uh, more experience in public management, uh, so I know how to uh, run things. I make mis my mistakes, but I, I know about uh, uh, these mistakes um, uh, and uh, I can learn from them. In chess, uh, uh, to understand what you did wrong, uh, you need to study much more, uh, to work much more, and I don't have uh, time for that. So at this point, it's more difficult for me to play uh, chess um, at a competitive level than to run feed, but both things are challenging and both things are enjoyable. Thank you very much. I wish you a lot of luck both on and off the board. Thank you. Thank you.